16th chapter, they shall take up serpents. And if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. It's only a small passage of the Bible, five sentences long. But for these people, those few words are the key to heaven's gate. You can lay that serpent's head right there in the palm of your hand, and you feel a load moving all over you. It, it can't even hurt you. You know, you know, you know that's God. From the outside looking in, this is an extreme test of faith, to say the least. These snakes are poisonous, and the consequences could be deadly. I've seen a lot of people bit. Um, <laughs> You know, some that died. I know people, I, know, I saw Brother Porter bit last Saturday night by a rattlesnake on the finger. Didn't bother him a bit. A lot of folks don't understand this. Brother Carl is the leader of this group. He is also the most daring. On this night, he not only tempts the poisonous snakes, he also drinks a jar full of strychnine. But I can't stop you believe strong enough you can do it and pray, you know, and ask the Lord to help you with it, and God can, he can help you. While the ritual may seem bizarre, for these people, the risk is worth it. And it really strengthens you. It's, in my belief, uh, I think that it really gets you glo closer to Jesus. It makes you strong. As you watch the event unfold, you get a strange feeling. You wonder what drives these people to such extremes. You're really not thinking at that point because the Lord's moving on you and he's got control over you. And he said nothing by any means shall hurt you. At times, the ceremony is part church service, part rock concert, and everyone gets involved. And the preacher isn't the only one preaching. After hours of frenzied energy, it becomes a free-for-all. 